Chewie, remember when we made the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs? Thing on is this? Get him right. One of my favorite kinds of page styles mixes artistic photo masks with linear based grid design. And typically complex artsy layouts really don't mix well with that kind of linear, simple layout. But I still do it anyway, I mean, why not, right? Here's a simple way that you can do it too. First, let me show you an example of a complex layout that mixes an artsy style with that linear based grid design. So this is the direction where we're going. And as you can see, I have some photos that have this really kind of cut off artisty look, they're actually clipped to a photo transfer. And then there's grid lines in between them. And it's using a single artistic photo mask, one by Anna Aspinez actually. Okay, so here's what you wanna do. Create a new workspace and add the artsy photo mask or the transfer that's in this case to the layouts workspace. I have that here. Add your photo and then use the move tool to position the photo over the photo mask. You'll want to place the photo so it occupies a small area or like a quadrant and an obvious corner is visible somewhere in the middle of the mask. Next, create a clipping mask from the photo to the transfer mask. There's a variety of ways to do that. My favorite way is just to hold down the Alt key on the keyboard, click in between the two layers that I wanna to clip together and boom, there's my clipping mask. And now the photo has taken on the shape of the bottom mask. Next, we'll need our ruler guides. If your rulers are not all the way turned on, you can use shortcut keys Command or Control R to turn on the rulers. Then grab down a ruler guide to create the borders of where you want your edges to end. Next, Let's select the rectangular marquee tool from the tools panel. And then we're gonna draw a thin selection along each border where lines will appear and intersect. I also hold down my shift key so I can make a variety of different kinds of lines. And I just eyeball them to make sure that they're the right size and shape. Now once the lines are in place, target the transfer layer in the layers panel and click on the add layer mask icon in your layers panel. Next, we'll need to inverse this selection. So target the mask in the layers panel here and use shortcut keys command I or control I to reverse it. You'll want to clip additional photos to your mask to finish out the look. And it'll give you that linear grid appearance with also those really cool edges. 